when you first create a power surfacing primitive object, the default display is sub D plus cage. The sub D is the shape that will be converted to a NURB surface, or solid, in the SOLIDWORKS feature tree. The cage represents the control mesh that contains the data that the sub D is created from. It is retained upon conversion. Sub Ds have three component parts vertices, edges, and faces. As you can see, they turn orange as you hover the cursor over them. In Select Any mode, you can select any type by picking it. It will turn blue. If no subobject type is selected, when you drag a region, the default type, vertices, will be selected. If a face or edge is currently selected, dragging a region will select more of the same type. Power surfacing uses the same conventions as SOLIDWORKS. Dragging from right to left selects crossing, and left to right selects only fully windowed subobjects. Holding the Shift key allows you to add to the selected type. Holding the Control key will toggle the selected addition off and on. Selection works the same whether you are working in the Control Mesh, Sub D, or sub D plus cage display modes. Sometimes you may find it more convenient to restrict your selection to a single subobject type. You can do so from the control panel or from the right click menu. Because many operations are done on multiple selection sets, power surfacing has a couple of options for selecting rings and loops. Double clicking in the center of an edge will select a ring of edges. Double clicking near the vertex of an edge will select a loop of edges. With faces, double clicking near an edge will determine which direction a loop of faces will be selected. You can also activate these selection modes by choosing the mode from the control panel or from the right click menu. This has the added advantage of showing a preview of the selection on hover. Other selection options allow you to invert the current selection. Expand the selection. And shrink the selection. Note that shrinking an expanded selection that incorporates the entire mesh is not going to give the same result as a regular undo. The last selection option will ignore backfacing. By default, dragging a selection marquee includes backfacing subobjects. With backface cull turned on, backfacing subobjects will be ignored. More selection options can be found in the advanced sections Selection Filters Floater and Soft Selection Option. For more information on selecting in power surfacing, please refer to the documentation.